as you can tell, we're going to do a get ready with me. Um, we have church tonight. This is Wednesday. We always have church on Wednesday night, but um, we are in revival, and this is the last night of the revival. And Daniel and I didn't go last night. I had a very upset stomach. So, um, well, a little dead rare with it, but nevertheless. So, we're going to do a get ready with me. And we're going to do a complete Laura Geller face, with the exception of the lips. Okay, we're not going to do that. But um, I'm going to go ahead and do my lashes with you guys because most of the time I do my lashes before I ever get on camera. And I know a lot of you are like, man, I want to see put on the lashes. And a lot of you could watch me do that 110 times and still never miss it. So, <laughs> so that's what, sorry. Uh, so that's what we're going to do. Okay, so let's get started. I'm using the Ioni uh, eyeliner, lash liner, glue from, I may have to turn this fan on. It's warm today, guys. It's it's very warm. If you hear another fan running, I'm trying to dry some of my clothes. Um, I don't want them to shrink, so yeah. Anywho, all right, let's pull you up a little bit and get started. All right. This is that. This is from the Dollar Tree, and we. I'm gonna have to have my mirror. If I drop that one more time, I'm gonna have to have my mirror. So I'm gonna have to move y'all back just a little bit. Y'all can still see me as I do this. I've talked about this eyeliner forever. You know, I've told y'all it's a game changer, and it is. There's no. You don't have to mess with glue. And my worry with the glue was always, is it going to get inside my eye? And we're going to talk about that in a minute, too. I have something to tell y'all. But, you know, I was always worried about it getting inside of my eyeball. Can't be good, putting glue in your eye. So, all right, and I'm wearing these. Um, these are the little, my favorites. I'll show you the thing here in a minute. Let me get this on. And then we will go from there. And I'm going to try to get this up before I leave for church. It's, it's like, it's only like 2 o'clock right now. So, there's that. Okay. Here we go. I hope y'all can see me. I start at the end and let it catch. And then once it catches at that end, then I just bring it right on around. And then I push. Get it pushed down. And a lot of times I'll do my mascara before. Most of the time, I don't even do mascara when I do these. But these curl up so you can kind of see the lash under there. So all I do with that is just take any kind of mascara. It doesn't matter. Go under it like that. And then I take my finger, hold it down with the top, slide my bottom thumb, and just kind of marry them together. And there you go. You're done. You're done. Okay, let's do the other one. Um... Hang on. I don't think I can talk and do this because I'll be all out of sorts here. If you hear anything, it's Penrod. He hears me talking, so he wants to be on camera, too. My animals just want to be on camera. <laughs> I don't know what to tell y'all. Alright. Then, let's take this off. These are, I'm reusing them because it's not time to throw them away. So, I keep them in this little container. Let me go ahead and get those out so I can show you which ones I'm wearing. Okay, and then we're going to do the same thing. I kind of let that set for just a second so it'll start getting sticky. Because, again, I take it the corner of this one. Are y'all seeing me? And then I just, sometimes it don't want to catch. Sometimes it do. My left eye, I always have the worst trouble with. It's not as easy as the right one. I don't know why, but it ain't. It's like it just wants to be contrary. Y'all know that word? Contrary. And then I push. And this one is a little bit higher than I want. So what I do is take the end of my um, tweezers and just kind of push it down closer to the bottom. And if that don't work, I just take it apart, pull it, pull it, I pull it, and then I 
stick it again. Because let me tell you what. It's it's a uh, it's a pain. Now then, there we go. Okay. No, there we not go. Still wants to go. All right. I would take you off or turn the camera off and do this to make it behave. But if I do that, then you're not going to see how I made it behave. And I'm sure y'all want to know. Inquiring minds want to know. There we go. Okay. Now, you know, I've told y'all. If you're using the lash eyeliner glue, always put it, your lashes on first. Because it says on the box not to put it over makeup or it won't work. And it won't. I've tried it. Okay, here's the lashes that I'm using. <clears throat> Turn them sideways. There you go. These are the lashes. Got these off of uh, Shein. And they are my favorite. Totally my favorite. Absolutely. Some of them curled up more than others. Now then. There you go. They're ready. If you feel for some reason something's not going to stick. Like that corner. I. And sometimes. Well not sometimes. I always cry at church. And that one. See it didn't. It didn't do what I wanted it to anyway. So I'm taking the whole stinking thing off. And we're going to do this again. You see me. Do you see me? Now I'm going to take a little bit of it. And I'm just going to kind of swipe it on the ends so it'll kind of want to stick. There we go. Then we're going to restick this puppy. Like I said, if it don't work the first time, don't get all upset and discouraged and think, I can't do this because they just swipe them on there so easy. Not always. There's nothing easy about lashes. I'm just going to say that. I'm just putting that out there, okay? There's nothing easy about lashes. Ever. There we go. Now then. Now I'm going to take a little bit of mascara. The mascara that I use, this is from the AOA studio. I told y'all get online. It's, it's a real cheap website of makeup. And I like their makeup. Length. Actually, it's not just makeup. You can get a little bit of everything on there. I use all of my cheap mascara to uh, joint to uh, marry them because I just don't want, yeah. Okay, now here's the deal. Let me put this up. I th oh, then I have this. This is from those... You know the kiss lashes that come in little pieces, you know, and you put them all on yourself? Okay, this come with it. And I kept it just for the simple reason that it's so easy to go through there like this and just kind of push my lashes up with these lashes. You know what I'm saying? Just easier to do. Yeah, so if you have one of those, hang on to it. Okay. Now, I'm done with that little tidbit. Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I'm wearing camouflage skirt, okay, tonight, and um, a green top. And Daniel, I've got him in a green top as well, because, you know, I always like to match this. It's just necessary. <laughs> okay, so for eyeliner underneath, I'm going to wear, this is called emerald. You can see the color right there, green. Since I'm wearing green, and this is almost, I've had these liners for years i got them from aliexpress aliexpress and they are still going strong when i say years i mean like 10 years i'm not lying i bought these back when we lived in the big house or yeah the big house in natural dam and i need to try to find some more of them because i really like these they came in a set. There was green. I still have the brown, black, and blue. And all I have left is the green and the black. But I really like it. So, there you go. We're going to add a little green under there. And that's all we're doing. And I may try to smudge that. I don't know if I will or not. Let's see. Let's try to smudge that up a little bit. 
I like it smudgy. Do y'all like it smudgy underneath your eye? Guys, my taste for makeup is changing, and I do mean it's changing because I have just been in the mood of, I don't even want to makeup on. You know, it's like, I don't even want to wear makeup. I ain't even, I don't, yeah. I guess because there for a while when I was doing videos, I was all about um, just wearing my lashes and lip. That was it. And for some reason, I just kind of changed the tone. And it's like, I don't, I don't want to wear makeup. That's weird for me because y'all know how much I love my makeup. Don't wear worry. Don't wear worry. I will always wear makeup, but you know. There's just some days are worse than others. And I'm sure you guys probably on some days feel the same way I do. Do you know the older you get? I'm sorry. I should have already had this out. I'm looking for my brow pencil. She monies. Um, I'm sure everybody feels that way once in a while. Okay, this is the LA Colors brow pencil in black. And we're just going to kind of. go over y'all know if y'all have watched me for any period of time you know that I like my lashes very thin actually I just like a thin line that's it just give me a thin line I'm happy we're done okay then I'm gonna go over that with this it's called 24 hour brow setter by benefit and I really like this. I got this from my Ipsy bag. I'm thinking about going back to Ipsy for a little while. I didn't cancel it. I just um, paused it for a while. I know y'all's like, why are you not going up? Because I ain't going to look like no Marcho Grouch. That's why. Okay. Okay, let's get started on the makeup. I'm going to use the Laura Geller Baked Balance and Glow Illuminating Foundation. Mine is in the medium. Medi medium. And I am going to use her brush. There for a while her brush was making me itch, but now it don't. I don't know. I think it's just my skin. Okay, and then we're just going to... I'm almost hitting pan on this one, but I have another one in my drawer. A backup. I bought two at the same time, you know. And she said, just go in circular motion. I watched her again last night, which could be why suddenly I want to wear my Laura Geller. Actually, the reason why is because it's powder. Actually, it's not powder. It's a cream form powder is what it is. But um, I just don't want to feel the cr uh, liquid on my face or... You know, I wore that Fawera to church the other night, and I'm telling you what, it, I felt oil in my face, or it felt oily, and that's unusual because it never does that to me. And I'm like, well, what in the world? Okay, this is going to be it. I know, you guys are like, really? That's it? Well, I am going to do my eyes, underneath my eyes, because you see those bags. Those bags cannot be, okay? Just can't be. So we're going to go in. I think I'm out of this one. Age Rewinder. But I have, I think I have a little bit left I do, of this one. This is the Instant Age Rewinder Eraser Multi Concealer. And my this one is in 120 Light. The one I really like is in 095 Cool Ivory, which is a very light. But that's okay. That's neither here nor there. And there we go. Just going to dabble that up underneath there. Yep, I'm laying it on. I know they say older women shouldn't do this. Well, what do you want us to do? Just to show the bags and see, that's looking uneven. That's what I don't like about the Laura Geller makeup. I don't know, y'all. I don't know. Do y'all? Maybe I can just kind of tone it down with a different brush. Does it look... See, it... To me, it don't go on smoothly. It goes on blotchy. Could very well be her brush, too. I don't know. I'm not real fond of that brush. Okay. And then, uh, and I didn't wet that. So, let's see. I guess I can wet it with the setting spray. Hang on. I forgot to wet my sponge. 
Sephora come in here. Okay. Then I'm going to go up underneath there and just kind of pat that down. And I might just go ahead and pat all over my face because I'm telling you what, I ain't liking that at all. I don't like the looks. Does it look blotchy to y'all or is it just me? I don't know. Guys, I don't know. I didn't want a lot of makeup, but this is forcing me to go somewhere else. <laughs> okay, let's just go ahead and continue on. I am going to use the, this is the Soothing, Soothing and Setting Powder, number one, F688 by Me Now, M-N, Me Now. Got it off of Timu. And love it. Look at that. I'm hitting pan. Absolutely love this setting powder. And I was, I did, I mean, I do still like it. It's the, is it the, uh, who's it by? <sighs> I got this in a, I think, Ipsy bag. Who's this by? Somebody help me out. Vicki, where are you? You could tell me. I can't remember who this is by. It says on there, but I can't read it. The little bitty one. And I liked it, but it's more expensive. And this, I mean, why pay more money? When you find a good dupe that does perfect. I mean, this is perfect. Just just perfect. It's an excellent dupe for it. For whatever it is. <laughs> I can't read it at the moment. And it's too fine print. You know what I'm saying? I know what y'all saying. What the crap is she doing? Well, I'm using the setting powder everywhere because I'm looking blotchy. And we're just going to kind of try to fix this. And I'm going to let that set a minute. It's going to set. In the meantime, while it's setting, I am going to use the Laura Geller pencils. Uh, these are the Make It A Double. I bought these off QVC. See, one side is the, um, I don't know what you call it, powder form. But the other side is a liquid, liquid form. I don't use these a whole lot. I don't know why. Well, because they were darker in the summertime, I don't like wearing them in the summertime, so. I just ain't making sense, am I? Okay, we're going to start with this end. This one is, this is champagne. The lighter one is, well, it just says champagne for both of them, so. Now, I didn't want, I don't like a lot of fallout on my lashes. Because I'm putting my lashes on first, sometimes the powder just, it gives you fallout. I don't like that. Because it falls out on your lashes and then your lashes look stupid. Like if you're looking down, it's like, you know, it just makes them look yucky. So, I am going to use the sticks. And to, like I said, I don't wear these sticks a lot, the Laura Geller, because they came, they were darker colors. Actually, two of them were, two were light. I have one in Cosmopolitan, and I really liked it. But my sister-in-law wanted to try out some uh, sticks, some um, eyeshadow sticks. So I gave her my Cosmopolitan, which is okay. I was watching her last night, Laura Geller, on QVC. She has some really nice um, eyeliner pencils, pens. And like I said, I need some more. I'm going to go look at... Um, real fast, I'm going to look on uh, AliExpress before I do order because, you know. Okay, that was this one. Can y'all see that? It's kind of the liquid one. Okay, then when you move it around to this side, this one screws off. And did I show you Laura Geller make it a double? And they say that because, you know, you're getting two in one. And it looks like this. And then I'm going to, I'm going to have to look down. I know y'all can see me, so. We're going to put that right up here. Okay, now let me start talking about this. I was watching Shirley Box of Chocolates, and I'll leave her link in the description box. And she had gone to her eye doctor, and she said that her eye doctor had told her, she was talking about, I think, makeup putting on, oh, she was asking him if it was okay for her to put it on her um, waterline, and he said, and then up here, you know, your waterline, 
And he said, never, 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 never put makeup on your waterline. Never. Because he said, all, all of your eye, your eyes all have parts to play. And he said, do not do that. Now, he said, if you know, make sure you wash your makeup off real good before you go to bed. But, you know, when you blink, it's going to get in your eye. So, I'm like... I don't, I, I can't do that no more. Because y'all know I use this uh, little white auto eyeliner stick. And I always put it on my, um, <laughs> always put it on the waterline. And wasn't supposed to. So, there you go. Which, you know, in the beginning when I started watching people do that, I had that thought. Should they be doing that? Because when you blink, wouldn't that go in your eye? And I don't know. I just kind of dismissed it because everybody was doing it which like my dad says well if everybody jumped off the cliff Marsha would you no <laughs> whatever anyway all right now then blend that out a little bit okay now we got the I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this Largeller make it a double this one is called brandy is it ab no it's it's Champagne? I want the brandy. No, absinthe. I'm going to go in with the absinthe. Absinthe. And, because it's a little darker, I'm not going to use the, I'm going to use the powdered side. And we're going to do a little bit right here. Just kind of make that a little bit dark. Right in here. There we go. These are beautiful colors. Again, these are... I did buy these off of QVC. And I got... I think there was four or five of them. One, two, three. There was four. Because I gave them one away. They are Lar the Laura Geller Make It A Double Eyeshadow Sticks. And they're pretty good. Part they're good. Okay, now I'm going to kind of blot that out a little bit. Because I'm going to take a little sponge and just kind of blot that a little bit kind of blend it so it don't look bold okay then ugh, my nose is itching then I'm going to take the Laura Geller this is I broke it the Laura Geller baked blush and highlight duo French vanilla and pink buttercream so we're going to use the pink buttercream the pink buttercream and I think I'm going to use this brush and I really wanted orange, but I think I might tap a little bit of orange on there on top of this. Because I don't like the way that looks either. See, this is why I don't need to wear makeup today. Because I just don't like the way it looks. It's just like... I don't like it. I just don't like it. Okay, so I'm going to go in with my old Trustworthy Saint with the, the orange... And this is actually the orange um, eyeshadow, but today it's going to be blush by George. It's this one right there. I think it's in tangerine. Okay. Now then, oh, no stitching. I'm gonna take my little this brush, and we're going to blend and get blend all my setting powder out open away I was going to do yellow and green for my eyes tonight but again I just to do that it's a powder and I didn't want to get powder on my lashes I, I mean there's not a lot of fallout with that palette but you know so I thought you know what no I'm just going to do it this way and be done Yeah. so there's that let's see the absent where's the absent Champagne, absinthe, do a little more, right there. I did blend that, but it just kind of seemed like one looked a little more than the other. Okay, there we go. Now, what do y'all think? We're going to leave it at that. 
And we're going to leave the rest of it at this. I got this at uh, the Dollar Tree, and I just love it. It's got a flat side, and that way I can do it on my setting powder and just put it on there like I want it, you know? And I'll, I don't know. It's just, for me, easier to maneuver. You know what I'm saying? Okay. There's that. And then... Maybe for a little bit of highlighter, we are going to go in with the um, Laura Geller French Vanilla. And I'm trying to decide. I think I will use my little fan. All right. And we're just going to kind of rub it. I dab it, rub it, kind of like this. My nose is itching. And then just kind of do that. Dab it, rub it. And just kind of put it right in there. You can see it. It's beautiful. And then I'm going to use the other side to kind of blend that in. See, and it still looks like I'm, I'm wearing a lot of makeup. And I just don't want that look. I don't want that wear a lot of makeup look. And what I should do is just go back to uh, my BB cream and, start, and just start using my BB cream. Now, this one is a dark. I get this at the Dollar Tree. And they had, this is the dark. My favorite one was the lighter one. It was perfect. And then all of a sudden they just quit carrying that one. They were getting the dark. <laughs> yeah. Jennifer, and have y'all ever smelled Jennifer Aniston's perfume? Anyway, it smells good. Anyway, what I was saying, let me go back to what I was saying about um, box of chocolate, Shirley. All right, we're done. There's, there's, that's all we're wearing on the Laura Giller. Anyway, her doctor said never to do that because every part of your eye plays a part. And you don't want makeup in your eyes. And she was talking about a lot of the makeup is not uh, uh, FDA, FDA approved. Is it FDA? RDA? I don't know. Approved. Now, that's scary. And people are putting it on their eyes where it's going to um, go into their eyeballs. It's like, ooh, that's not good either. That's not good. It's just not good. I need to fix that. It's not as dark as I want it to lay. Let's go back with the green. I'm starting to run out. I can tell it's getting a little lighter. But anyway, so I thought, well, okay, I can't be putting that white in there anymore on my on my water line. So what's a person to do? Well, you just don't do it. That's what you don't do. Okay, I'm going to put this on. This is the Monsieur Big Lancome Monsieur Big eyeshadow uh mascara and i know i like to put the cheaps up top but i do like to put my good ones on bottom because it makes them look good because you know i like my bottom lashes to be as pretty long and separated as the top unless i'm just home and doing videos at home then i don't it don't really matter because there's sometimes i don't even put mascara down here or eyeliner for that matter. So, anyway, I'm going to leave that link to Shirley's box of chocolates on that video, that one particular video, so you can go listen to it because she said she had the conversation with her eye doctor, and that's what he said. Makes sense to me. I don't know about y'all, but it makes sense to me. Which, you know, I've noticed a lot of these YouTubers, a lot of these young girls are just getting brave with where they're putting their makeup. And it's like, oh, yikes. Because, and I did it one time, and I took them off. I didn't sleep in them because I was afraid it was going to, you know. When you're, when you're uh, putting glue on the, you know, the ones that are little pieces, and you're putting it up under your eyelash, not on top, but up under, it's still, when you blink... You know, it's still going to get in your eye. Or I think it is. The glue. So, you don't want to be doing that, guys. You don't want to be doing that. You know, it's like... Danger. Danger. I'm going to try to separate these a little bit. Because I couldn't tell it till I looked in the mirror. And it's like... Or the camera. The camera will tell off on you guys. Sure will. This is a pretty good mascara if you're looking for, if you don't do lashes and you're looking for mascara. The Lancome Monster Big is a good one. See that? It's a real good one. But, that's only if your lashes curl 
anyway curl up because there's not a thing I can do to make my lashes curl up. Nothing. I've curled them, I've heated it, and then curled them, and I've done all that, and it, it just don't, it just don't, just don't, so. But, if you have curly eyelashes anyway, the Monster Big is, is a good one. Okay, there's that. I think we're done. Are we done? Because I think we are. I still don't like the look. I still don't like the... It looks dark, and I don't like that. I don't like looking like I have makeup on the... What's wrong with me? I don't know. Let's see. Let me see if I can't fix it with this. I don't know. I may mess it up. This is the Cover FX... CoverGirl FX Foundation. And it, too, is a powder. It's a powder. But... Let's try it, because I'm just not happy with that Laura Geller. Just not. Laura Geller used to be my favorite, but anymore, it's just really not. I don't, I just don't know what my deal is. I think I'm just getting older, where I just don't really want a lot of makeup. I would like a natural look, where it don't look, where it looks uh, natural, like I'm not wearing makeup, but it's real pretty. <laughs> you have to be young, now pretty skin for that. Or just have pretty skin, and I don't. So, there's that. By the way, Laura Conti, Lauren Conti, texted me and said, you need a shirt. She bought one of my shirts from my store. And she said, you need a shirt that says, there's that. Because you say it all the time. So, guess what? I now have a shirt that says, there's that. You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you, Lauren Conti, for bringing that to my attention. So, there you go. There's that. I'm going to spray my face. I don't know if it's going to do any good. This is the facial mist, rose water, and aloe that I get from, you guessed it, the Dollar Tree. And it's good stuff. Can't complain. It's only $1.25. So. <laughs> yeah. Alright guys, that's all I'm going to do for tonight. I will show you our outfits once we get ready for church. And I will show you that. I'm drinking caramel vanilla coffee. I made a big one because I needed it. Okay, there's that. There's the end. The ending, the end, the end, the end. So, I hope y'all enjoyed this little get ready with me, even though it wasn't very good. I think I complained the whole time. Did I complain? I did, didn't I? I don't remember what I complained about, but... <laughs> I haven't even done my hair yet. I just got out of the shower, so... I gotta go do the hair... And all that stuff. And I probably need to do that before Daniel gets home. Because, yeah. I don't even know what time he's, he should have already been. What time is it? Anyway, let me end this. Oh, let me do my lips. I'm going to use the, of course, my favorite. This is the L'Oreal pair. Uh, L'Oreal in, is this Matt's it or no? Matt's mine. I like this better than I do my Charlotte Tilbury. And it needs to be sharpened. So, at the moment... I'm not going to do that. We'll just use the Charlotte Tilbury. Is this Charlotte Tilbury? No, this is Rimmel. It needs to be sharpened too. <laughs> uh. Ow. Alright, we're just going to do that for now. And then I'm going to use the Hard Candy and Gloss in Peach. Peach Dream. Because y'all know. I am into the lip glosses right now. There you go. That's all for now. Alright, I hope you enjoyed this. Remember, keep God in it. Oh, you'll always win it. And, um, I guess I'll go ahead and add our... Well, no, I can't because I'm going to go ahead and put this up. I will, I will put our outfit on, um... On a short on a YouTube short because I'm gonna go ahead and get this up so anyway thank you for watching and hope you enjoyed it love you bye toodaloo